Hi and welcome to the Fiscal Solutions YouTube channel. In this video, my guest is Dragana Babic. Welcome, Dragana. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's nice to be here with you today. Dragana is legal consultant at Fiscal Solutions and today she is going to explain how two countries, Czech Republic and Croatia, differ in some elements of fiscal law regardless of the same type of fiscalization, online fiscalization. So Dragana, tell me what are the differences between these two countries? Thank you. Uh, as you Olya already mentioned, both of these systems are software-based systems and also online-based fiscalization systems. Although they are very similar, every country has its own interest in uh, introducing some particulars and some specific regulations for itself. Uh, in these two systems, the major differences are based on the elements which have to be printed on the receipt or uh, that are a content of the XML message which is being sent to the government for the authorization purposes of every single uh, sales transaction. As we recognized, uh, the major differences are the following. First of all, I would like to notice uh, the topic which is related to the General Data Protection Regulation, which is actual on the level of the whole European Union. And there we have a requirement in Croatia, which is not present in Czech Republic. So, in Croatia, for every single fiscalization uh, process, uh, the personal identification number of the cashier, which is issuing uh, receipts on a particular cash register, has to be sent in the XML message to the authorities. Uh, besides that, on the receipt, which is being giving, given to the customer, uh, the name or some specific code or identification mark has to be printed. But uh, when we are talking about the general data protection regulation, the personal identification number or the full name and surname of the cashier cannot be printed on the receipt. Uh, besides that, in Czech Republic, there are no regulations which are uh, related to the cashier information whatsoever, not on the printed receipt and not in the XML message to the authorities. Uh, further on, uh, the second topic is related to the stores themselves. So every store uh, in which you are conducting sales uh, has to be registered and has to be uh, defined with a unique store ID. The difference between Croatia and Czech Republic is that in Croatia the retailer himself can choose and freely decide how he is going to call his store. And that store ID is a part of the receipt number which is printed on the physical receipt being given to the customer. Uh, uh, different than that, in Czech Republic, the store ID is not freely chosen by the retailer, but is given by the tax administration uh, upon registration uh, at the tax administration portal, which is called uh, EET. Uh, the tax administration is called uh, the EET on uh, Czech language. Uh, in Czech Republic, the store ID is not part of the receipt number, but is sent to the government in the XML message for authorization purposes. Uh, besides that, uh, another topic uh, different in Czech Republic and Croatia uh, is the offline case. Because these two types of systems are online-based fiscalization systems, uh, of course, in some situations it is uh, allowed to have offline receipts because the communication with the tax administration is not working properly. Uh, in those situations, in Czech Republic, it is mandatory to have a visible uh, definition that POS is offline and that definition and that uh, message is allowed to be there on the cash register, on the POS itself, uh, at least after two seconds of not responding of the government server. In Croatia, there is no such uh, regulation. Also related to the offline cases, uh, the offline receipts in both Croatia and Czech Republic are being printed without the authorization code 
which is being uh, um, assigned by the tax administration. In this, these situations, uh, the communication is not working properly, so you're not uh, able to receive that code. But in Czech Republic, uh, and not in Croatia, uh, there is a replacement mark, which is an element called signature code. So if you have an offline receipt in Czech Republic, you have to print an additional element, which is not present when uh, the receipts are are uh, printed as online receipts. Uh, another uh, more difference uh, between a Czech and Croatian fiscalization system uh, is also an element uh, which is um, included in the context of the XML message to the authorities. In Croatia, payment type information are strictly defined by the government. They are defined in the law and they, as uh, defined in the law have to be sent uh, in every single XML message to the government, while in Czech Republic there are no such regulations. We heard that there are some new regulations related to vending machines in Croatia. Can you please tell me something more about that? Yes, in Croatia uh, this January, uh, changes of the Cash Transaction Fiscalization Act have entered into force. Uh, one of the most important changes is related to vending machines and the suspension of exception from the fiscalization obligation for these types of POSs. So from 2021, vending machines will have to follow the standard fiscalization requirements which are applicable for all other types of POSs. Uh, in this moment, in Czech Republic, those types of regulations do not exist. Thank you, Dragana. It was my pleasure. If you would like to ask us something more, you can leave us a comment and of course you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon. Bye.